What is the colour of hope? I've been asking this question for nearly 10 years, surveying people, running workshops, holding exhibitions, exploring this theme in my artwork. And do you want to know what I've found? Join me in the studio today as we create eight collages in week 12 of 100 days of collage while we explore this incredibly important theme of what is the colour of hope. So this is what I have found. Every colour can mean hope to somebody. Every colour, <laughs> even the colours that I may not like, <laughs> can mean hope to somebody because it depends on cultural upbringing, childhood memories, experiences, personal preference. Hope can be any colour for any reason to somebody. So what is your colour of hope? Maybe for you, it's the green of the trees, or even the blue of the sky or the colour of these beautiful roses. The thing is, you can't get it wrong. <laughs> It's your personal opinion, it's your experience, it's how you respond to the question. So there's no wrong answer. <laughs> so this is my Colours of Hope. It is actually my very first painting that I created in an expression of hope. It was oh, nearly 10 years ago. I was going through a really difficult time. I was struggling with my art, with myself, with my circumstances in my life. I didn't have enough money for my art supplies and I was really discouraged. So I went into my studio. I know it was a Monday morning. You know, Mondays are not so good anyway. <laughs> so I went into my studio on a Monday morning and I had this beautiful meter by a meter canvas and I pulled out all my favorite colors and I could see from my tubes of paint that there wasn't going to be enough paint to stretch on this canvas because at that time I was using really thick paint with palette knife and literally scraping that beautiful color on. But I started, I had to draw from within myself the belief that everything was going to be okay. And this painting was a physical expression of hope for me at that time. I wanted to physically create a painting that I could then look at and go, oh, it's gonna be okay. Because for me, I like to paint where I want to be sometimes, you know, not where I am now. So when I was in that moment of discouragement, I didn't want to paint that discouragement. I wanted to paint where I wanted to be. So that's why the painting was all about hope. So these are my favorite colors. I pulled them out, I started painting them on the canvas, and then I started running out of paint, which I knew that I would from the sheer volume of how I was creating at that time. So I kept pulling out more tubes of paint, paints I wouldn't have normally put together at that time, and I was just so determined to make something so incredibly beautiful. It was like a knee-jerk reaction. I was feeling so discouraged by life that I was determined to slap that discouragement in the face and create something beautiful and magnificent. So that's what I did. So I just kept painting. I added more gorgeous colors, more luxurious, and I scrimped every single ounce of paint out of those tubes. I scraped them and cut them and got every single bit I could and put it on that canvas. And when I finished and stood back and looked at it, it was just like, there it is. It was a physical manifestation of hope. That's how it was for me anyway. And from that moment, I started developing workshops for other people to create paintings that for them represented hope. And I've been doing that nearly 10 years now. Isn't that amazing? Time goes by so fast. So I really hope you enjoy this episode. I hope you enjoy my expression of hope. I hope it 
really does inspire you to find your expression of hope. And if you're in a difficult season right now, just know it's going to be okay. We're all in this together. We're going to get there. You don't have to feel like you're the only one going through the struggles because you're not. <laughs> if you're breathing, life is a challenge. <laughs> but we're with you. I want to encourage you today <laughs> to create something beautiful, even if it's a knee-jerk reaction in comparison to how difficult things are, your artwork's going to be this incredible expression of beauty. I really hope you get to express that today in your creativity, and I would love to see it. So if you're in my Facebook group, don't forget to post it, because I'd love to see it. I wanna know what is your colors of hope, because it's an absolutely fabulous thing. So in the studio this week, I'm going to be using papers from two different sources. I'm going to use, oh, wait for it, <laughs> my very own digital collage papers. Yay. I put these beautiful papers together from the first section of the 100 Days of Collage, weeks one to six, the beautiful warm tones, and then the second half of the series from the week seven to 10. I absolutely love these pages. They turned out so well. I'm so happy. And guess what? You're the first person I've told. <laughs> the papers are now available for purchase. You can download them instantly, instantly, and print them out on your own printer or go to the office shop and get laser prints, which is what I do because they hold up better. I like to paint them, tear them, stencil them, ink them, basically throw all my love and at them. So I get laser prints done from the office shop and they're absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to use them. My very first digital collage papers that are for sale because usually I give them away. But these ones, you know, you're just going to have to step up. <laughs> so today I'm using the third pack is the Colours of Hope. Now this pack is made from my paintings over the last 10 years that for me represent hope. I've painted them from that expression and inspiration. I've used my beautiful lavish colors that you know by now what they're gonna be. Lots of oranges, lots of blues, lots of reds, a little sprinkle of green, but mostly the warm tones with some red violets, yep. You know it, what you can love and expect to receive from one of my collage inspiration packs <laughs> is beauty, saturated colors, and glorious images of paintings. So this pack is the Colors of Hope pack, and I'm going to be using that today in the studio with this week's theme, and I'm really excited. I'm also going to be using leftovers from the past weeks of our color exploration. So pull back out all of those fabulous papers that you made, particularly the colors that you really loved. So what is your color of hope? It doesn't have to be just one color. It can be a multitude of colors. As you can see from my papers, um, mine are very expressive. There's lots of birds, there's a few flowers. They're just beautiful colors, textures, patterns, and images that for me really represent and symbolize hope. I'm gonna be pulling out some of my blue papers that I made, probably some of the violet ones, definitely some of the orange ones, <laughs> and put them together with my digital collage papers. And that's how I'm gonna make the beautiful collages this week. I'm so excited. Righto. Stop yapping and we'll get down to the table and we'll get into it and we'll make a mess with some beautiful colors. Right, now I absolutely love these papers so much. I have my digital collage paper. Did you go on and get some? <laughs> Did you print them out? <laughs> it's so much fun, they're so beautiful. And I've got some other leftover papers from the past few weeks. Glorious, and I'm going to mix that together and it's going to be so much fun. This painting really was a game changer for me. Uh, it made me experience the process of creating to paint yourself happy, really. I mean, you would have heard me say it by now, and I truly, absolutely believe it. You can just create yourself into a beautiful moment of peace, 
and joy. And you know, it doesn't have to please everybody else. You don't even have to show anybody else, especially if you're working in an art journal. And I think that's really absolutely beautiful about creativity. It doesn't have to be this or that. You can just be doing it for yourself to make your life more enjoyable. Now, I'm just going to stick that there and I don't think I'm going to add any more layers to it because this painting is so special to me and it means so much. It's such a significant moment. It really set me on a path that I'm still on, really. I'm still doing Colours of Hope. This YouTube series is pretty much a virtual equivalent to my fabulous workshops, except you've got to find all your own materials. <laughs> Because I used to include them. Of course I did. Because I have so many papers. That's why I make the inspiration bags. Now I'm going to put that there. I just, I'm just going to. It's a significant painting to me. Uh, it means so much. Can't believe it's like 10 years. 10 years. Jeez Louise, where did it go? What I love about the workshops, the Colours of Hope workshops, the actual in the flesh ones, it was the incredible diversity to that response. What is the colour of hope? And, you know, you can't get it wrong. And I can't wait to see what you create because it always fascinates me how incredibly diverse that response is and how everybody really relates so differently when asked the question. I just love it. Righto, I'm putting my beautiful Hope painting. It is called Hope. That's what the painting's called. That's what I was creating. And it's one of my all-time faves. I'm putting it on because it is such a significant painting to me and I love it. And that's all I'm doing for the first page because I don't want to go over it. I did design these pages that you can chop them up, you can use sections of them, you can use elements, you can use them for background. But right now, because this is so meaningful to me and I've shared my heartfelt story with you, I'm just going to leave it like that. Ta-da! <laughs> right, this page, I'm going to put some leftovers from the last few weeks of those glorious colours. Look at my fabulous violet papers yes i definitely have to use some of this what a glorious color so will i start with that and i think i'll leave some of that black at the top i did enjoy doing that last week that was really fun leaving some of the uh, black art journal page that was really cool that was more fun than i thought but it was challenging all that whiteness on white <laughs> right, I'm going to start with the violet, beautiful violet paper. What are we going to put with it? Well, I've got some beautiful blues lying around. I've got some glorious turquoise as well. Look at these papers just here. Got these beautiful papers here. So these are all leftovers from the other weeks of doing the fabulous color challenge. So I have to use some of those. I might also use some more of these pages. I mean, look, they're just beautiful and they printed so well. I'm so happy with them. Um, yes, righto. I'm going to use some of these. I've just got to decide which ones. I think what I might do is use some of these fabulous pages. And then I could just go over them because they make fabulous backgrounds. You just have to trim the white off and then you can glue more layers on top of them. And I think that'll be a really fun way. See, look at the beautiful violet. Oh my gosh. Beautiful violets and the golds and the reds. Yes, yes, they are my colours of hope. They don't have to be yours. It's okay. So I'm going to put this piece on under the beautiful violet textural paper like that. And then I might add some of the beautiful bluey turquoise. Doesn't matter if I cover up some of the paper. Then maybe I'll add some of that one. Ooh, that looks good too. Although this looks good. <laughs> 
<laughs> that looks good. Oh man, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Now we have too many options. Maybe not this one. Maybe I want this one. Oh yes, yes. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Maybe I want to stick that one on there. A little bit of bling ring going on. Maybe I'll just create a strata composition. That could work. And use a whole selection of both types of papers. Yeah, that'll be fun. Mm, I want that ring, but I like that ring. <laughs> Gotta love leftovers. I know, so if I put that there, I've got that fabulous ring there. I like that. And then I put this one with the glorious red and the violet and then maybe some of the blue and the turquoise and the blue. Oh, too many blues. Is that too many blues? Nah, it's not too many blues. Ooh, maybe I'll add some of this one. This would work too. I could add some of this glorious color. <clears throat> That'd work. That'd be really nice there. Yes. Yes. I like the way the, the papers in amongst these digital ones, these collage papers. I love that. That's going to work really well. Okay. We're going to do that. I'm going to stick that there. Oh, I might need to put this little piece in somewhere that's left over from Violet Week because that's really nice too. Yes. I'm going to have to put that in somewhere. Righto, I'll have a little play with that and get that background down. And then we'll see where we're at. What I like about this strata composition is the simplicity. If you don't like it, you can just keep adding layers to it and changing it until you do. Right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at that metallic turquoise colour. <laughs> I love it. Gotta love me a bit of bling. You can pretty much use any colour combination because who's going to tell you it's wrong? No one can tell you it's wrong. <laughs> if it's your own expression of hope and that's how it makes you feel, then it can't be wrong, can it? No, that's right. <laughs> so create freely with your expression. Go crazy. Really let your hair down. What have you got to lose? Now, I'm really not sure where I'm headed with this plant. I'm just putting on the colours as I pick them up and as I enjoy them, the look of them, and I'm putting it down. If I don't like something, I will just go over it. I'll change it or I'll fix it or I'll put another shape or something else on top. But so far, I think we're doing okay. I think it's looking rather beautiful. What colour do I want next? That's the question. With all of the weeks that we've just been doing, it's really not hard to find beautiful pages to use. I really don't have to go very far before I'm pulling out something absolutely beautiful. That has just been so much fun creating all these collages in these gorgeous colors. Oh my gosh, I've so loved it. And it's made such an incredibly beautiful collection. If you have a look at the, the digital collage papers that I have available um, on that same page with the Colours of Hope one, oh my gosh, I just have absolutely loved how the collection has come together in the fabulous collages. It really is just beautiful and I look at it now and we'll have to do a flip through at the end because it has been an incredibly fun time of doing these beautiful artworks. I've just loved it. And I've loved having your company. I've loved seeing what, how other people have responded to the colours. It has just been such an incredible pleasure. Look at that. Look at that. That's just beautiful. That's from the Violet Week. Leftovers, man. You've got to love leftovers. Look at them. It's got some circle stencil ghost prints on there and it's got the beautiful violet and the bronze and it's just beautiful <laughs> i just love it so now what am i gonna do shall i just leave it like that shall i put something else on it oh what about some of the 
the little piece I have here of the gossamer. Oh, that's an option. Yes, yes. This is an option for the bottom here. That could go like that. And I do like that option very, very much, right? This is cool up here, hey? That's really working. I like that. Love the pop of red. Love the turquoise, the blue, the gold, the violet. What's not to love? And it's matching my gorgeous colours of hope on this side. So that makes me happy. Do I want to put something else there? You know, I don't need to because it's really quite beautiful in itself. Um, in the pack, there's this beautiful feather, which I really love. I'm really tempted to put it there, but it might be a bit big because these papers in themselves are beautiful. Or what about one of the flowers? There's some flowers in those papers as well. That looks really cool. That could be really nice. Of course, it matches. But, you know, I don't think so. Yes or no, yes or no. <laughs> I don't think so because I just think these papers in themselves are absolutely beautiful and perhaps I should just let them be. What do you think? I'm definitely putting the gossamer paper on the end here. For sure, that's happening. But I think I might leave the rest because it's just beautiful. I was thinking of just adding another little piece here, right under that beautiful circle there. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I might do that. And then I'm going to leave it alone because I'm really, really liking it. Righto, I'm just going to fix those two little bits. And then we're done with our first two pages of our Colours of Hope. Yippee! It's going to be a fun week. And yes, there's going to be a lot of colour. <laughs> just know that it's going to be saturated. Right, my pages are dry enough. <laughs> And they're looking absolutely beautiful. I'm really enjoying sharing these stories with you. I can't believe it's been 10 years. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, that, this is gorgeous. They're beautiful. I love them. I'm glad I didn't put anything else on them. I'm loving the gossamer paper there on top of these beautiful gel prints, some of my digital collage paper that I've printed out, and some leftovers from the glorious weeks that we've already done. I mean, how fun is this? It's so easy. Now, if you want some of these papers, they are an instant download. You just have to click on the right link and you'll be away. Doesn't really matter what you want to print them out on. Personally, I like the laser prints because they print better quality of color. And also I can add to them, paint on them, slap the matte medium all over them and they just cope. Now, what are we going to do next? I really love this page. I love this little collage. I did this quite a few years ago, this collage. Be brave with your life. That was the theme, right? <laughs> Sometimes you've got to talk to yourself and kick yourself in the pants and pick yourself back up and push on. And it was, yes, one of those moments. And I was encouraging myself. So I'm going to put this in my colours of hope this week because it's beautiful. Now, I'm just going to trim off the white edge and then I'll decide what we're going to be adding to it. There's something about the freedom of seeing an empty cage with a bird on top that really resonates with me. I'm big in using birds and feathers and flight as symbolisms of freedom. And for me, personally, the freedom is an appreciation of self. It's allowing yourself to be who you were created to be and embracing that identity and being strong in who you are. It's a real big deal to me, the whole identity issue. And if you want to uh, watch the episode where I go into that, it's a lot of fun. So you'll find in my Colours of Hope digital collage papers pack that there are quite a few birds there's a real freedom in understanding your own identity and appreciating your own self-worth because then you're outside the 
confines of other people's expectations. And that is something that I'm really passionate about. I struggled with it a lot in my life and I've come into such an incredible liberty and freedom in knowledge of self. And, you know, so therefore I'm going to encourage you. <laughs> so that is beautiful. Be brave with your life. I love that piece. Using these papers is such a fabulous way to start. I'm just loving it. Knowledge of self is so incredibly empowering because when you know who you are and you have the courage to be who you want to be, tell you nothing can hold you back. That's what this is all about with my passion, with the birds and the flight and the freedom, freedom to be who you want to be. And this kind of freedom and expression really transcends into our fabulous art making. What do you think? I'm thinking that's a cool bit. <laughs> I just picked that up from next to me. Oh, you know what I'd really like to add? I've got this fabulous image transfer. Now, I've showed you how I do image transfers. I love doing them. I have a few piles of leftovers from image transfers. So I think I'm going to use this one because she looks like she is brave with her life. <laughs> Yes, he is. This image would have come from an Unsplash website, royalty-free website that you can use in your artwork without any stress about copyright issues. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, I think I should use her. I think she she's really cool. I think we could trim her off up there, put her like that, and then find other papers to add to connect these two pages that could be cool right so i think i'll glue her on and then worry about what i'm going to put with her it's very easy especially in this world the way it is with social media to feel like you're not enough very easy to feel like you don't measure up you don't have the right stuff you don't earn enough you don't look a certain way and all of that is absolute garbage so that's the kind of freedom an expression that I am entirely passionate about, which is why I was running my Colors of Hope workshops, because it's about giving people that incredible experience of creating something from the core of who you are and seeing how beautiful that artwork comes out. Because when you can validate your art and say, hey, I like that, you're affirming to yourself, hey, I'm okay. And that just gives you a far better perspective of the world and yourself. And let me tell you, it is incredibly empowering. So that's one of my themes that I'm always trying to achieve when I'm creating workshops or classes or even these YouTube videos. It's about empowering you to create great art so that you get a greater sense of your own self and a greater appreciation. Right, am I going on too much this week? I feel like I'm going on too much. I'm like, it's just deep. It's a deep, it's a deep issue for me and I'm so passionate about it that maybe I'm going on too much. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be so intense. <laughs> I'm loving her. She looks fabulous. I like the way the gaze is right down the camera. I like the kind, the color of the print. Pretty sure that is a Payne's Gray. And then I pulled the image transfer with a bronze, which looks fabulous, right? So I'm loving this paper. I'm going to put that there. I might find some more bits to connect those two pages. All right, we'll just keep going. You know, I'm just probably going to keep going on. So, yes. Sorry if it's getting a bit too much this week, a bit too deep or too personal. But it's because 10 years, man, 10 years, 10 years I've been doing the Colors of Hope workshops and on a tangent with this particular passion. So I guess for me, it's like, you know, all coming out in my Colors of Hope week. Man, why did I choose to do that? <laughs> oh, man, seriously. <laughs> Uh, really is the core of who I am as a person. 
So if you're sticking around and you're still here watching, I guess you think I'm kind of okay. So we'll push on. That looks fabulous. I love the fibres in those papers. They look glorious. That gets trimmed off there. The bird's looking fab. Loving that. See, he's sitting on top of the cage. Even a gilded cage is still a cage. That's all I'm saying. Right. Now what? Oh, what about some of this? Yes. Some of this fabulous tissue that I love so much. We could possibly put that, continue that over a little onto the other page too. That could work. That could work. That could work. What about we put it over like that? Yeah, I like that idea. On there. Oh, it's coming up a bit high up there. We need to trim that down a little. A little bit like that. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Right, so I want to put some more of this paper around her face to connect these two pages because it would be fun. Basically, that's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got this piece. Yay! I'm loving this piece. That could go right like that. Oh, look at the fibers in this paper. I don't know where I got it from. I've had it for a really long time in my um, box, in my scrap box. And I just dug to the bottom of my scrap box and pulled out the remnants of this paper, it's just amazing, but look at the fibrous textures of it. Just love it. That is awesome. Gotta love your scrap boxes. Now, I've showed you how to do the image transfers. I also have uh, three, I think, fabulous lessons on Skillshare. And I have a whole playlist on YouTube if you want to learn how to do the image transfers because, you know, you don't want to watch me do it again because you might, it might, no, you might not be interested. So this piece is cool. Another piece of tissue. So have a look there. I'll put the links in the description so you can find it real easy if you want to see um, some more lessons on how to do the image transfers. I'll put the links in the description. It's a great technique. I absolutely love it. You do have to pay particular attention to the print that you're using. Um, it needs to be a strong contrasting photo. And laser prints is what you really want to get the best impact. Now, what do you think? I really like her. I think the transfer is great. I think the look is good. The whole um, claiming your self-identity, I think that theme works well. Well, works for me. I like it. <laughs> I really like it. Um, do I want to put something there? I haven't decided. Haven't decided. Is that a bit of a flat area? I might put something there. I've got some of these circles, which I made for one of the weeks that we were doing. Oh, that's not bad. It's not a bad option. I'll, I'll, I'll let it sit there and we'll think about if we like that. Um, but what about her? I'm going to put something this side. Do I want to keep her like the whole face or do I want to maybe be mysterious? Because maybe I only want half of her face. Ooh. Do we want to be mysterious? Mm, that's a nice colour. I think the colour's working. It's one of the um, pages from the text week that I sprayed with eye zincs. And it could work quite good. But the question is, do we want to leave her whole face or do we want... Her being mysterious. So we could just leave a whole face and put it there on the edge, which is okay. It's an okay edge. I don't mind it. Like that. Or the writing. You can even see some of the writing, which is pretty cool. 
Or we could be mysterious and put it like that. Oh, man. Now we've got to decide. I don't like that. That's not happening. <laughs> I don't mind something there, but not that. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe some more of these little roses. That could work. Well, let's decide on this. Are we going to have it mysterious like that or the whole face? So, yes or no? <laughs> oh, yes. Do we leave her mysterious looking and put that there or do we not and leave the whole face? You know, it's a tough decision, but I think... Well, I mean, I've done image transfers with the whole face in green week. So, you know, I wouldn't want to do too much the same. I think I might go with the mystery. Let's do something mysterious like that. If you don't like my decision, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear about it. <laughs> I'm going for the mystery. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And I might put something there. I'm liking this piece in there. Maybe I'll put that piece on there. This piece. I like this piece. I'm going to put it there. Okay, I'm going to do it. You see how cool these papers are? Oh, my gosh. I had so much fun putting these together. I really did. Looking at my earlier paintings, remembering when I did them and how important they were. Oh, reminiscing. Reminiscing. Just loved it. Yep, I'm thinking that's going to go like that somehow. And I'm going with the mystery. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You better stop me if you don't want me to. <laughs> stop me now. Stop me now. All right, I'll show you when it's dried. Right, so I'm really happy with how these pages dried up. Look how cool she looks with a little bit of mystery. <laughs> and you know what it looks like? It's like she's hidden. It's like come out from hiding and be brave with your life. I know, right? I know. I told you it was going to get deep this week. <laughs> this is This particular theme is so important to me and so the core of who I am as a person and an artist that I just knew we would go deep. So, you know, come out of hiding, be brave with your life and let's see your beautiful creative expression. Yes, there it is. There's the message. I'm loving it. I know, I know. <laughs> too deep, too deep. So what are we going to do next? That's the exciting question. I'm really loving this page here. Uh, both these paintings are expressions of hope in that they're reflecting the beauty and that feeling of being at the beach or being near water on a glorious day when the sun's out, the sky's blue and everything's going to be okay. That's how it feels to me. That's what I was painting in the expression of these beautiful artworks. So I'm going to start with these. I think I'll put them over on this side. And I might add some of my beautiful painted tissue that I've made previously for the collages. And I'll put some layers of the painted tissue on just to add another layer and some more texture and some interest. That'd be pretty cool. And on this side, I'd really like to use this page because this painting here one of my faves i mean they're all my faves really but if you look at it you'll see why it's got the blue it's got the copper it's got the violet a <laughs> little bit of indigo i know right i know just love these colors i think i'll start with this page on here and then i might add also some of that painted tissue or some other of the beautiful violet pages not sure yet uh, to the bottom here. That could be really cool. Um, I might even add a stencil onto this page. Oh, no. So many options. So many beautiful images and colours. Ah, it's so exciting. So I've got my beautiful papers on the page and they look fabulous. They're a little damp, but they're looking great. And I put this page on this side. I love it so much. Of course I pulled out some of my gorgeous colored tissue and I've put a piece down the middle um, and I'm really happy 
I think I want to put something else on here. I've got some more of this tissue with the gorgeous copper and the violet tones. And that could look really cool there. But I don't know about this side. I was going to put some of these papers on. But I don't know. I'm really liking the beautiful um, print that I put on there. So I don't know if I want to cover it up with more papers. But I do want to put something on there. And seeing I'm all like, you know in a deep and meaningful <laughs> mood, I was thinking I might put this stencil on here. Now, I think that it's a Donna Downey stencil, but don't quote me because it's really old and I can't remember where the old ones come from. It's really easy with the new ones. <laughs> but it says, because she chooses to see the world in bright, bold colours. Now, it's obvious that I love bright, bold colours, but what I think I like the most about that quote on that stencil is that she chooses. And sometimes, you know, seeing hope or being positive or just, you know, getting up to face the day can be a choice, right? Sometimes our seasons we go through are so flaming hard that you have to physically choose to actually keep going, to get up, to keep smiling. Seasons are tough. People are mean, seriously. And sometimes there's just not a whole lot of love going on. So I like the way that the quote says she chooses because we really do have to choose to love, to forgive, to uh, be kind. Even kindness can be a choice. You want to just slap someone upside the head. <laughs> but you can't always do that. And you have to choose to be kind instead or even just to forgive the fact that they could be a moron. So I like that. I like that she chooses. That's probably the strongest statement that I see in this one. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it on there. Um, instead of putting the other coloured tissue on, which is a great idea too. The coloured tissue look fabulous. But we are going all, you know, deep and meaningful this week. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on there. Now, hopefully it'll go flat. My page is a little damp still. But, you know, it doesn't stress me out too much if I make a bit of a mess. And yes, I'm going to use my favourite colours, violet, magenta and copper. And that's what's in this painting here. You see, I've been in love with these colours for a really long time. <laughs> it really is who I am. So she chooses. Today we choose to see the world in bright, bold colours. I'm just going to put, oops. Now, like I said, it's not sitting entirely flat that's not always good for putting on a stencil i probably should have waited <laughs> until it dried properly i'm just not good at the waiting so i'll put it on hope for the best it could be a little smudgy but i can live with that it'll be okay the end of the day people it's only an art journal Oops, it's not so life and death. Oh man, it's really not sitting flat at all. <laughs> Just remind me I said it was okay when I pull it up and it's a blooming bad stencil. <laughs> Just remind me. Just yell at me. You said it'd be all right. <laughs> oh man, it's going to be a mess. <laughs> ah well, here's what it is, right? Okay, get ready. Don't expect too much. No great expectations because it wasn't sitting flat and it's probably really smudgy. Ta-da. Ta-da! Well, it's not too bad. I think it could have been worse. My colours went smudgy woodgy, But, yeah, it'll be all right. Now, it's not perfect, but the colours match really well, so I'll have to let that dry. If you're going to put a stencil on your page, make sure after you glue your print down, you wait for it to dry. <laughs> because then your page will be flat 
and not kinked up and cause a problem for your stencil. But if it does go smudgy, don't stress out. It'll be okay, right? It'll be okay. I'm loving this. This looks fine. I think I'll just leave that alone or I could put some bling rings. Oh, man. You know, you know, <laughs> I could do that. Okay, so I picked up my favorite bling ring maker. This is the end of a tube of something. I'm thinking it was paper towel, but I'm not really sure. I just, I like the size. The size is great. I also like the thickness of this tube. You can use um, toilet rolls, of course, but they're a lot thinner and they don't produce as good a mark. For me personally, I like this one. Um, yeah, I'm doing bling rings. I could do them separately, but I like these interlocking rings. At the moment, that's what I'm loving. <laughs> and I say at the moment, because everything changes, nothing stays the same, right? A couple of months time, I'll be doing something completely different. Quite sure about it. Oh man, loving this. This is awesome. This is the Iridescent Bronze Fine, my favorite of the golden paints. God bless America. Oh, that looks fantastic. I love it. Simple, simple, high tech, <laughs> really expensive equipment that I'm showing you today. Oh, I just love it. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Now I have to wait for the whole thing to dry. Oh man, that's the tough bit. <sighs> We'll wait for it to dry. Boring, because I'm really excited. I want to do the next page. What am I going to do next? Um, maybe I'll pull out some of the green. There is a little smidgen of green in the pack. That's from a painting called something about grace, if I remember. It's a long time ago. Ten years is a long time. <laughs> so I'm go I think I'll start with this page. And I'll do something with the greens. I think I'll go and find some of my leftovers from the green week of our colours. And yes, I'm going to do that. All right. The next two are going to start with the green. Once this is dried, oh man, that is looking beautiful. I am really happy with that. Right. The pages have dried. Stencil doesn't look too bad. And we're ready to move on. Look how beautiful these pages are. I just love these colors. Yay for my bling rings. And that is looking just fabulous because she chooses to see the world in bright, bold colors. Yes, thank you. Thanks for playing. <laughs> right, guess what? We're up to our last two pages oh, for the Colors of Hope Week. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Now, I did want to start with the green inspiration from this page, and then I'm going to add some of these fabulous colors and textures. These are from the green and the blue week. Uh, I loved both of them. I also have some of this fabulous a serviette or napkin uh it is an absolutely beautiful pattern and color i definitely want to use some of these papers maybe even that one yeah somehow i'm going to put these papers on the page so that is a great place to start i'll start by trimming this page and putting it on this side i'm thinking and then i'm going to put some of these papers on here maybe like that yeah, I'm going to do that. Righto, that's what we're going to do. I wonder if I could put some of that on there. Too many papers. Don't you love your leftovers? Yes, I do. These beautiful, deep tones of green, they make me feel hopeful because of the lush qualities of the colour and the connection to um, nature and trees and greenery. There is something beautifully therapeutic about going out into nature and sitting, even just sitting under a tree, you know. The beauty of that, the colours and the tones and the feel of it. Yes, you just got to do it. So I'm loving that. I think that page is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put some of these papers 
from my blue and green weeks on here and that just makes me feel happy so have you worked out for you what color would hope be i had so many incredible responses from the workshops and the surveys that i did it really was a fun time which one next oh let's put that on this is a piece of handmade paper i didn't make it i bought that <laughs> But if you want to watch one of my episodes, I show you where it did get made. <laughs> this is the one with the Harakiki paper. <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, the responses from the surveys and the workshops were so varied. I even had someone say black, and I'm like, how can you associate hope with black right because black is usually associated with darkness and doom but for them no it didn't it was a connection to the black like uh in the black comics of batman <laughs> yep it was fun i tell you it was fun also that whole concept of you know it's darkest before the dawn um i had a few of those kind of responses that it, you know, that it's dark now, but just give it a minute and the sun will shine again and hope will be restored. So that was a really interesting association. I'm loving that pattern on that piece. That was that um, bath mat that I took a print from. Crazy bath mat from the cheap shop. And I was doing some jelly prints with it. So fun. This handmade paper's got seeds in it. Did I mention that these seeds annoy me? <laughs> I mean, seriously, they keep coming out of the paper. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. It's like the poppy seeds that you eat on muffins. They're all right, but they're going everywhere. <laughs> right, hey, next piece, let's be moving on, moving on. And it's so personal. Am I going to use this one? I love this serviette. I just do. It's a beautiful colour. It's a great pattern. I could. Or I might just put the green on. Too many options. It has been an absolutely fascinating journey with this concept of what is the colour of hope. I have absolutely loved it. And I don't think it's finished yet. One day I might start in-person workshops, you know, when the world is a little bit more settled. That could be cool because that would be really fun. And we know I like fun. Those pages are looking great. So shall I add some of this napkin or serviette on the end? I could looks great fabulous color oh man or the other option is i have this leftover stencil piece of the stencil of the trees i'm very tempted to put the trees on there because i just love that sense of the lush colors and the depth of being in the forest maybe i'll put the trees on there Oh man, so many decisions. I might put the other serviette over on this side. I have some of these fabulous ones with the feathers left over from Blue Week. So I might put that there. That could be cool. That could be cool. So do we want trees or do we want the beautiful blue swirly pattern? That is the question. I'm definitely going to put this here because that is going to work fabulous. So this pattern or the tree stencil. You know, I don't mind both. I can't have both. <laughs> but I think either one's going to work. Maybe I'll go with the trees because that's kind of the association for me with the green. And it definitely makes me feel hopeful when you get in amongst, 
especially tall trees like right like in the forest oh my gosh that is just amazing to experience so maybe i'll go with that because that makes me happy put it on there like that and i'm going to definitely put that there because i've got a few of these leftovers from the blue week i'll probably put them into my inspiration packs yay but we might just do that today right there okay let's put that down now don't forget when you're using napkins that you need to peel the paper backing off if it's a two ply you'll have one piece but if it's a three ply then you'll need to peel off two of the white tissue backing on it otherwise it won't stick properly like on this one here see there's the white tissue backing on the napkin you want to make sure you peel that off before you try and stick it down otherwise it just doesn't stick properly and it looks annoying basically <laughs> i need to put this somewhere i really like it <laughs> right so i've cut around my beautiful feathers and i'm going to put them right there yay they look beautiful they match the page gloriously and they are a fabulous composition I think I bought this packet of the napkins from off the Chinese site. I was purchasing some of the stencils at that time. So that would be my best guess as to where I got them from. They're very easy to use napkins. I absolutely love using them for collage because they glue down easy. They're soft. You can get so many incredible patterns and designs. I love the way they go quite transparent when you put them onto other backgrounds. They're just fun. Yay, what's not to love? That looks fabulous. I'm loving it. Now, if I had more space on my page, I would add this. <laughs> but I'm really happy with how these colors are looking. So I think I'll just leave it alone. I'll let this dry and see how it dries. Maybe I could put a little piece of it somewhere. <laughs> but at the moment, it's looking pretty good. And I'll just let all of these beautiful papers dry. And then we'll see where we're at. So I ripped off the tiniest little slither. I just had to. You know, things get stuck in my brain and I just can't let them go. I ripped off the tiniest little slither. Look at that. Because I just had to have... The paper on here <laughs> i know obsessive much nah just a little bit <laughs> i had to have it even if it's just the tiniest weeniest little slither it had to go on there like that because i just love that color and the pattern of it and it's beautiful and it's a serviette. I love these napkins. They just are the best. They're just one of my favorite collage papers is using serviettes or napkins. I just love it. There you go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone now. I'm going to let it dry. And then we'll have a little review of all of the beautiful pages in our Colors of Hope. I mean, seriously can't get much better than that yay right so my beautiful pages have dried and look how glorious they look and how they feel i just love them they make me feel so happy and alive right let's go back to the front da -da, da -da. my glorious painting colors of hope which set me on a path 10 years ago I just love it so much. I didn't want to add anything else to it because it's just glorious. <laughs> and here's a beautiful selection of other papers from the different weeks we've gone through with our color exploration and some of my digital collage papers. Yay! Just loving these papers. I've so enjoyed using them this week. So that's one and two, three and four with my beautiful papers, some texture and my image transfer. And yes, I had to get mysterious and put her a little bit behind there because she's hidden. 
Why is she hidden? Well, that's the question we all have to ask ourselves. You have to be brave with your life, which is the theme here, and come out of hiding and show the world who you are. Yes, I know, it did get a little deep this week because I'm so passionate about this theme, about hope, about um, your personal identity, your self-worth, and expressing that through your art and creative explorations. I just love it. I'm so passionate about it. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you're still here watching, I really appreciate that. This whole theme is so deeply personal. Maybe I got a bit deep this week, but, but if you're still here watching, I'm really grateful that you are. This is one of my favorite ones with the birds. I love using the birds. And of course, we had to add some texture with the bling rings. And this quote, because she chooses to see the world in bright, bold colors, because that's how I face things. It's a choice. It's a choice to get up every day and to be positive and to look at the world with bright colors because, you know, it's not circumstantial. There's a whole lot of heartache going on. But each day we have to get up and choose to show kindness, to show love to be cheerful and encourage other people. That's what I think anyway. And the last beautiful pages, seven and eight with the glorious green tones, my feathers left from my blue week and my fabulous tree stencils with the forest. Oh, just love it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Seriously, if you made it all the way to the end here, I just love that you're with me. Um, I really hope you enjoyed these fabulous collages. I so enjoyed sharing my heart with you and sharing the personal message that I am so deeply passionate about. I can't wait to see your colors of hope and how you respond to this question. And I really look forward to seeing those collages especially in the Facebook group. Thank you for joining me today in the studio. I really hope, hello, there's that word. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you lift your head. It brightens your day. It makes you feel just better. You know, there's a lot of angst in the world. There's a, so much heartache going on in so many places. We just have to stop and encourage ourselves make some beautiful art and in this moment believe that things are going to be okay. We just have to. There's no other option. So I hope you paint yourself happy. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'd love to hear what your colours of hope are and you can leave a comment if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Come on, you've got to join in the fun. Do all those things so that you can get notified next week when we put up another fabulous video for you to watch, enjoy, be encouraged by, and baby, paint yourself happy. <laughs> really, that's what it's all about. So my digital collage papers, you will find the link in the description. You click on that, it'll take you to the place where you can purchase them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Did I mention instant? I hope to see you next week. We will be creating something beautiful, having lots of fun. And oh my gosh, we hit a hundred collages next week. I'm telling you, we do a hundred. Can you even fathom that? hundred collages. We hit the goal next week. It'll be the last one for our 100 Days of Collage series. And that is so very exciting. Come back and join me then and we'll see what we're creating. Yeah.